Hello guys, I just wanted to wish you a happy new year. Uh, today I'm supposed to be posting a video and I just realized that it's like bits and pieces of different videos that I've had throughout the uh, last couple of weeks in the month of December, like doing my checkups and massages and you know eye, eye checkup, dental checkup, things like that, like that I usually do for the end of the year and I realized that I actually haven't... Um, I didn't do an intro so this is the intro so I just woke up today is January the 1st and I'm still in my PJs and yeah so I thought to do that so before we get into the video remember to like share subscribe you know give me a huge thumbs up and all that good stuff and I wish you a prosperous new year a happy new year and a better 2021 we all have high hopes for this year and I hope that it all comes to fruition in all our lives so Remember, keep supporting me, guys. Let's get this channel moving. And, you know, 2021 is going to be a year of exploration. So let me know. What do you want to see on my channel? What are the things that you want me to incorporate? And, you know, just give me your suggestions. Love you guys. See you. And I'm happy to bring you on this little journey with me. Bye. <laughs> Voila! What the? What the? What the heck? What is what my hair feels?
about work. My COVID test came back negative, so we're still trying to figure out why I'm so sick. Nine vials of blood drawn, and now I have to do ECG for my heart. Right here. So I have to take off all my clothes and they'll come do the ECG to see if my heart is okay. So that's where we're at right now. Waiting for them to come to the ECG. See you when I'm done. Yeah, okay, I'm done dressing up. About to head home. Fingers crossed. I hope for the best results. Wish me luck, guys. Home time. After all that test I had to do and all nine vials of blood that had to be taken, I feel like I deserve some smoothie or something. Right? I deserve some smoothie, something to spoil myself. Because I did great. If it was my son, I would have given him a candy or buy him McDonald's. But I deserve something. Ooh, oh Lord. <sighs> so, hopefully I get to find out what it is. Ooh, it's cold, it's freezing. Let me show you. You see, snow, it's December. Look at that. Ooh. And no joke, people. All right, I have to go now. I'm just here to pamper myself, get a massage. It's been a tough year, so I decided to the end of the year, I'm going to be getting one massage a week. So this is me. Ah, beautiful. Okay, let me just show you guys. To the end of the year, guys. To the end of the year. One massage a week. That was so relaxing, oh my god. You had to use a nose mask when we are doing the front. Oh my god. Whew. So I'm done. I booked one hour. And yeah, I still have so much oil. I booked one hour and that's it until next week. So what are you doing for yourself? Let's know what are you doing for yourself to relax, to enjoy the festivities. Like, like I've been procrastinating for this one, but I'm like, the year's almost over. I just need to pamper myself, and that's what I'm doing. Like, you can hear that, and I had lavender oil. <sighs> Beautiful. Anyway, see you guys later. <laughs> All right, I'm done. It's 7 p.m. now, time to go home. I booked one hour, six to seven. Yeah, put my face back, back, face mask back on and go home. Tomorrow's another day, today's Tuesday. All right, thanks for coming on the massage with me. Okay, so I'm back again for my second uh, for my second massage week two and yeah it's supposed to be every tuesday for the rest of the week for sorry for the rest of the year so this is my second one and yeah i can't wait like look at that right. and yeah i'm still going for my lavender as usual so yeah i came in my lounge wear because it's like 6 30 at night so yeah so anyways i'll see you after to go home I slept off you won't believe it I slept off okay. 
yeah. I slept off. It was good. So I have to go home because there's work tomorrow. So I have two more next week and then the last week of the year. See yeah, so this is where I came for my massage. Yeah. And it's like Okay, let's get into the car. Mm. Uh. Wow. Yeah. I, I can bet you to have been using this light since 2015 that I've been using this place. Like, they just turn it off during the week. No, sorry, during the year they turn it off. And December, they switch it back on. Like they never change it. I don't blame them. Why waste money unnecessarily? Anyway, it's time to go. It's the oh, most it's wonderful one. time of the year. Look at the snow, guys. Wow. Oh, oh. 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 So, yeah, I'm on, on my way to my final massage for the year. I have, uh, I canceled the one that I was supposed to have for Tuesday. So I'm going to a, an entirely new place because these people, they don't have, like the people I used to use, they don't have any more dates. They're fully booked. So now I am going to a new place and I hope it's good. So comment down below. How many of you prefer a female masseuse than a male masseur? because I don't feel comfortable for a man to massage me. I remember when I had, um, when I was pregnant and I, my doctor prescribed a prenatal massage for me because I was, because I was like really tensed and I had excruciating back pain. They uh, wanted me to get the prenatal massage and they didn't, it was the same place I went to and they didn't have a female masseuse. So I had to use a male one. I hated it. Like I came out of there more tense than I went in so comment down below if you prefer a male to a female or if you prefer a female to a male but I did prefer a female which is how I found out where I used to use like that you've seen in this video but I'm going back to this old place because they're the only ones that have a spot available so let's see what happens see you when I get there yeah I'm almost late so that's where I'm going over there it's a physiotherapy place called Caramedica yeah, I'm going to be late and it's going to cut into my massage time. I'm so mad. But yeah, what can you do? You have kids and you have all these people. You have to set them up before you go. So today is the 28th, Monday. So yeah, that's where I'm at. How many of you always make a new year resolution that you're going to get all your medical checkups monthly or bi-monthly or quarterly? I do that every year, but I end up you know cramming everything to the last month which is what i'm doing now like all my checkups all my whatever wellness i'm doing it on, in december and most of the time they're all fully booked or whatever and it's like an inconvenient time for me to but i, I know every single year i do that stuff every year so i hope next year 2021 will be better i'm here now guys so yeah i have my face mask on and yeah i'm here exactly 12 o'clock so it's going to eat into my time. Let me that show you the place. place. The physiotherapy place that I'm going to be getting my massage. They have orthodontist, chiropractor, physiotherapy, and massage therapy. So yeah. I'm going to be going in and let's see how it goes. So this is the new place. And apparently they don't have a misuse. So I'm going to have to use a, a chiropractor. But she's also like uh, she also has a massage experience and training so we'll see how it goes so I'm supposed to undress now and get started see you guys after yeah so that's where we're at after.
so I just finished my massage and on my way out the phone that I bought if you haven't seen the video where I said I spoiled myself rotten I'm going to leave the link somewhere up here but it was the iPhone 12 Pro that we got and you know I found another <laughs> I found a better deal so I returned it last week I returned it last week right so immediately I finished my my massage and I was coming out of the mall so I saw this new this freedom mobile and I went to them because I was hoping that I would get a better deal that's why I returned because yeah we can use it for 15 days with my old phone line and then we can return it right so I called my spouse I was like wow like they uh, they have a better deal with this uh, line and then we get more internet I think with the other one we had 6 gig of internet every month with this one 13 gig of internet every month and I could take the phone like right now I don't have to wait for them to ship it to me I could buy it like right now so I just give them my credit card and then I upgraded to Pro Max so one for me this uh, gold color is mine and this black is for my spouse so which is an upgrade and we're paying the same amount like are you kidding me so it was too good <laughs> immediately i got my spouse I was like hello 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 i got this really good deal let's purchase it like right now so yeah that's what we did we purchased right away so mine is the gold one Ooh. which is that i know all my phone is always gold i don't know why like when i was all the phones i've used not all uh when i was using iphone 5 it was pink but uh iphone 6 it was gold iphone 8 plus it was gold uh although when i bought the pro it wasn't gold it was blue because blue was like the really beautiful one yeah so my spouse is getting the gray or is it black is it gray so but we got the pro max so i'm gonna go home and set it up but i'm so excited so i ported from that line i'm not that loyal so i was using fido ported right away and now i am so that's my contract <laughs> so i put it and now i'm with freedom mobile so like it's crazy like we're going to with this one with uh with this one we're getting it cheaper than we got the uh iphone 12 pro and this is pro max so i'm taking advantage girl so i'm so excited with my purchase and i'm so excited that i returned that because i actually returned that because i was thinking on boxing day i'm going to get a better deal right that because we usually buy phones either on valentine's day or on boxing day because there's always a really good deal but then yesterday or two days ago was boxing day today's the 28th right and we checked there was still no deal we called them they don't have a better deal so yeah and just i wasn't thinking about it Thank God I had my credit card on me, so I just purchased this one. So I just thought to keep you along. So thank you so much. Yeah, this is me, you know, getting all my last minute checks. Like, you know, health and wellness is really important. I will try as much as possible to do that every maybe month or every quarterly next year. I know I say that every year, but this uh, like 2021, I just want to take that seriously. So yeah, so I'll be getting more massages, uh, you know doing my you know uh, general checkup you know pap smear mammogram if possible whatever that i can do to ensure that i'm living a healthy life and i'll get, try this year i started healthy doing my exercises before corona hit and all the gyms got locked down so i'm going to make sure in this new year by god's grace even if there's no gym to go to i will find a way to exercise at home i'll try as much as i can so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below and give me a huge thumbs up 2021 i hope it will be better for everybody and corona will be nipped in the bud and we'll all be happy happier than we i can't wait to travel like i need to travel out of canada like i i feel like i'm stuck in canada so and i know a lot of people are in that same mood so i'm going to find some resort to go to as soon as we can travel safely and yeah so thank you. I love you guys. Bye.
pictures and yeah, I'm gonna have to go through the ugly stage of it peeling and scabbing and fading and all of that. I never look forward to that part of it, so oh my god. But I think it looks really good. Look at that, guys. So yeah, shout out to Makeup by Spells. That's her handwork. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So I just got back in my car. And yeah, I finished my eyebrow. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, that's it. So I'm not supposed to uh, apply water or any kind of uh, liquid for three days. And after that, yeah, I'm gonna begin the healing process and I'm just supposed to apply maybe shea butter or coconut oil or just Vaseline. So as I said, I'm not looking forward to the ugly part where everything has to fall out and then the pigment then shows after. That's the part I don't like because I still have to go to work and <laughs> people are mean, they're gonna laugh at you like, what the heck happened to you? <laughs> like, what the heck happened to your face? So anyway, but it was a good experience overall. It was less painful than before because she kept like makeup by spells. Shout out to you. She kept trying to find out if I was good and asking me, does it hurt? And anytime I feel pain, she adds more, um, more numbing cream. So that way it was a lot bearable than before the ones I did before, cause I've done it twice before. So yeah, it's really good. So, uh, check in the link in the description below. I'm going to be leaving a link there go get yours done it's affordable it's very very bearable like it's I would say if you say the scale of pain from 1 to 10 I'll say 1 because like I didn't even flinch so um, even if you have low tolerance for pain this you can do this like she's really good at what she does so the only part that I'm concerned about now is the scabbing because no matter how professional you are no matter how good you are your skin has to heal so yeah that's the part I'm scared about because the last time I had it really ugly and I'm concerned about this part but thank God by the time it starts to peel will be weekend so hopefully by Monday when we get back to work January 4th today is the 30th of uh, December so by January 4th I hope that it looks a lot better so yeah I'm liking what I have and hopefully it will last me another three years before I have to go through this again and I don't know she said I might need a touch up like every, almost every time you do this you need a touch up within six weeks so let's see how that works out but usually the touch up doesn't hurt as much and because it's just you filling out the spaces that might show up and then also um, uh, it doesn't cost as much and I don't think it scabs like the first part because you're only filling out the parts that are patchy right so yeah that's pretty much it so now I'm gonna I have a long drive ahead of me back to Toronto so yeah thank you so much for coming on this journey remember to like share subscribe give me a huge thumbs up and share to every of your family friends and loved ones remember tell her that I sent you okay check out this lady she's fantastic check her out make sure that you tell her that proud black woman sent you okay make sure all right so i was just coming back from where i went to get my eyebrow done but i haven't eaten all day like my <laughs> i'm so hungry so i just parked at burger king bought myself some food and I can't wait to get home so I had to park in the parking lot so I can eat leave a comment in the comment section if you're one of those like usually I don't do this like I would like try my best to go to go home and eat you know and balance on my chair and eat but my house is four minutes away I've been driving for 35 minutes four minutes away and I can't get home I have to eat oh my god I thought it's just doing Oh my god. Don't starve yourself guys. It didn't occur to me that I haven't eaten until I became really hungry and I was like, what's going on? Then I remembered. I went from work to my eyebrow appointment from my eyebrow appointment and on the road again. It's seven o'clock right now. I haven't eaten. So, yeah. I needed that food. Anyway, I just have to carry your lunch. Rain. 
to the point. Not Australia and places probably already in the yeah, New Year. Yeah, who knows? Exactly. You have a, you have a choice, right? Yeah, I do.